Good one, you are. The number one question I get from young men, and I'm talking about men in high school, college, and in their 20s, is about erectile dysfunction. And everyone thinks of erectile dysfunction kind of an issue for guys in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s. But this is by far the most common thing. And it's been building. I mean, starting about 10 years ago, guys were talking to me about it uh, very privately. But now they come up in groups to talk about it. It's, it's out there. And when I speak of erectile dysfunction, most of the erectile dysfunction people are talking about is they can't get it up or they can't get off. There's also erectile dysfunction of getting off too quickly, premature ejaculation. And this is the biggest fear. I'm going to just go do a little aside on premature ejaculation. Biggest fear of young men, and they incorporate all kinds of strategies to avoid it. Um, drinking to, you know, and sometimes that can lead to the other end of erectile dysfunction. But uh, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, and a common uh, strategy, which actually is helpful and doesn't, it usually helps, is jerking off earlier in the day. That is something that a lot of guys report helps them ejaculate prematurely. Um, and the problem is, Porn reinforces the idea that you should be able to last and last and last. In most porn, most heterosexual porn, guys are lasting forever and ever. And they go on and on and on with no emotion, by the way. If you looked at them from the neck up, it looks like they're doing their taxes, perhaps cleaning the lint from between their toes. Um, so lasting and lasting. Meanwhile, the women are having orgasm after orgasm while being pounded, like ravaged by these guys. Um, so it's very confusing and that makes guys feel like, oh, I got to last, I got to last. But then the flip side is this. This is what I'm hearing a lot from young men. They say, it takes me a minute to get off when I'm looking at porn and it takes me an hour to get off with my partner. And sometimes I never even get off. And so other things cause erectile dysfunction. You get psyched out. Once you think you have it, you get yourself psyched out. High fat diet, but not usually in the case for young men just yet, young boys and young men. There's all these different, you know, issues that can contribute. Um, but really the basic solution is stop looking at porn. And the thing that I'm hearing from guys is when I talk to them, by the time I talk to them in college, they've talked about years of suffering, like some of them multiple years of suffering and haven't told anybody. And, and what has been a blessing is there's some young men who will speak about it publicly in front of their whole group, their whole organization, their whole fraternity, their whole team, their whole group of friends. And that is so comforting to the other guys who are privately suffering. And what, what these young men who talk about it openly say, the way they've gotten away from um, porn, because it's there's something called porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So what is the solution? It's very basic. If you're under 26 years old and your brain is not developed, you, you need four or five months completely free of porn for you to get that out of your head. It's so ingrained, the expectations, what gets you off or doesn't get you off, but a full four or five months away from a porn. If you're over 26, it only takes one or two months. That's because your brain is still developing. So the young men who talk about their break from porn say that it is not discipline. It is not the discipline of not looking at it. It's absolute vigilance of blocking it on every device of not opening links that friends send to you, not engaging in conversations because it's really, really hard. And some people have erectile dysfunction. They're like, okay, what I do is I don't look at porn for 10 days and to see if I can do that. And if I can do that, then I can go back to porn. But it's really the people who take a long break who see the difference. And years and years ago, before the research was out, I remember hearing a group of young men, and this is 2006, hearing these young men talk about erectile dysfunction, um, talk about all these issues. I said, you guys, what if you took a break from porn? I, I just was throwing that out there. Six months later, I went back to interview them for, for a book I was writing. And these guys, two guys run up to me and they said, we tried your porn detox. I was like, what porn detox? So these guys, one guy, you know, the first guy says, I no longer have erectile dysfunction. I, my fantasy highlight reel is totally different and from my own imagination. Sex with a partner is amazing. I'm getting more done. I have more energy. I'm sleeping better. 
everything's changed. Now the research says exactly that. The other kid said, all of those things were true for the two months I took off of porn, but I thought I could do a reduced diet of porn, but all those things came, came flooding back. Because once you're looking at porn, that fuels your fantasy highlight reel. So be mindful of what you're looking at. So many young guys tell me, I tried Viagra. Do not try Viagra. After you have kids, when you're older, Viagra could come in the picture, but you don't need it. There's something being advertised called the pee shot to make your penis bigger. Porn makes you worry about that and gives you these lasting erections. A shot right to the penis. No, how about take a break from porn? Start there. Before you do anything else, start with a break from porn.